in times of chaos like the one we experiencing these days most of us realize that we're not in control of the world around us nor our own lives oh we like to believe it we like to think it we like to proclaim it everywhere but that's not the reality no we are reminded of this cruel truth when a natural disaster a terrible diagnosis or unexpected layoff it's us or our loved ones and this time it's it's different i would say it's even worse because we are all affected by a tiny virus and visible to the naked eye and this pandemic even if we are not affected like if it we're not a carrier or this tiny virus somehow and what we would call the normalcy of our lives what we have taken for granted before oh we can try to regain control on little things like uh, do we shave or we're not shaving uh, you know our attitude toward life or the response we offer to those around us but it's not bad but it does not solve our situation the way we feel no we sense we are hopelessness we are overwhelmed we are lost some days most of the days we want to give up and strangely we are what's christian considered a holy week between the sunday of palm sunday jesus triumphant entry into jerusalem leading to arrest crucifixion and easter morning this week is important for churchgoer for ministers like me because it is the cornerstone of our faith i'm i'm sincerely profoundly convinced without the story of the crucifixion and the story of the resurrection between without those two stories there would be no christianity or at least nothing close to what we know but this year oh man this is definitely not what we plan for what we hope what we dream the sense of losing control is in us like probably what we're reading in the gospels because what we've been told that jesus was at the top of his game he was popular he was respected he was acclaimed it hard it was hard to believe that it could be better for him and just a few days everything changed suddenly he was betrayed arrested judged denied by his disciple and crucified the one christian called the messiah the chosen one the christ seems to have lost control on his fate and that's horrible when we think about it that's sad that's depressing but the option offered to us those who believe in god is to choose to believe that this is not the end of the story because something incredible something that defied imagination something that is bigger than us happened after that something that changed the life of so many human beings across centuries god raised jesus and notice here it's not jesus 
who chose to resurrect or did the work. No, no. God did it. And it might not be we might not be in control as we would like it. We might not be in control as we would like to believe it. And it's definitely not pleasant. These days are not pleasant. But the story of the Holy Week kind of told us not to worry too much. That hope is still possible in these times of chaos. Because life is is stronger than us, stronger than our greatest fear, and stronger than the smallest virus. Regardless of everything that is happening in our lives, what we're going through, what we are experiencing, we are told that resurrection will happen one way or another regardless of what we do or don't. I hope you're still listening to the advice we receive from our government, from our health officials. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're developing a sense of community also. If we cannot see face to face to one another, we can still care for one another. And I hope you find ways to believe that this will end eventually. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.